does really interesting stuff. He said his invoker is just like, ooh. Yeah. Like, that is the kind of player that uh, he thinks has a lot of promise. So far, I I mean, the games that I've casted, maybe I just jinx him. They've won all of them is the surprising part. Yeah. He just has gone negative in all four of them, if my, I remember. My dude is level 18 Monkey King. You Holy. know how many games you have to play to get I, that high level? I'm sure Guy is a boss. I'm really excited to see this, actually. As uh, no, I want to oh. see his Meteor Hammer Monkey King. You heard about that? Hmm? Weird. Wild, and I want to see it in action. The last game uh, that we casted, we saw Jerex play... Oh my god, I can't stop raving about it. Maybe the best Winter Wyvern I've seen at this tournament so far. He was an absolute nightmare to play against. Yeah. I'm going to rewatch that replay. And you know me, I don't watch a lot of reps. Blitzstone is a, a man who likes it live. I just like to play. Yeah. I'm a Me video too. gamer. The battle begins. Me too, dude. Okay, here we go as Bounty Rune traded. Ooh, Sniler did sneak one away from OG there. So they're going to be able to get three on the side. The rare of three. Thunder. Maybe I'll change my Exodia condition to seven out of eight. Seven out of eight. That's close enough. I, I, I feel like you're really stretching. I just want to see Ice Rock at the moment. That should be the mutation mode. <laughs> what if the bounty runes spawn randomly around the map? You have to go hunt for them. Like, it's a big, big, uh... Oh, so they, they put Tiny mid. Yeah. Okay. So they won't adjust that. But, I mean, Tiny's... It's not like Tiny's that bad. Dude, Gops is there. sick at the positioning to never get cleave hit. What in the world? Maybe he is just a really legit monkey. Like, when you're playing on your favorite hero, you just play a little bit better at everything. You yeah. Know? That's true. Like, it's me and Storm. I just don't get dumpstered by everyone anymore. I think it's better uh, also Necrophos, the, the matchup against the Spectre. We kind of talked about how that lane. Yeah, I think they want to really stay true to that. And then the top lane, they have the Weaver into the Train Protector, which should be no problem whatsoever. Gaia's top tower is under attack. So, not going to miss first blood. It's not going to happen. Missed nope. Far too many today. Have you now? Yes. Thompson's actually taking tons of damage. I mean, it's just a problem that Tiny could just do so much more damage than you. Mm-hmm. Oh, another deny. Zeb is sure indeed going for his uh, his leech seed build. He's actually holding on to a skill point, so he's considering it. The Yang. Chen does come in, trying to get some damage onto Yang, slowing him down a little bit. Should be fine, though. It's hilarious seeing Chen just turn into Radiant a safe lane support now. Yeah. Fortified. He just runs neutrals at you and penitences you. Yeah. I mean, penitence is crazy strong right now, too. It just goes to show you how much laning phase matters, that people yeah. are just willing to completely neuter Chen as a hero, so that they can kind of just run at you. Look at him, he's just getting another one. Penitence. Oh, no, you shouldn't have killed those apple golems. No. You shouldn't have done it. Why did you kill the golems? Fade. <sighs> Activated his trap card. <laughs> Fade's like, ah, free golem. And Yang's like, no. Don't do it, brother. Yang, uh, he did not get Ghost Shroud, so he's going to take a lot of damage here. Fortunately, there's Fire Spirits from Fade, but he just came into lane, and he's already down to 200 health. He needs all of the last hits here. Indeed, he does. He does have Tangos, though. Look at the little golems coming forward, throws another one. They're going to go for another dagger onto Yang. Is Yang going to die here? Anna's going to chase him down into the Tier 2. The send back as well and onto Anna. He's going to go for the extra kill on the Fade. He needs to walk away from the tower, though he survives on just a sliver of it. The Torpedo! The Torpedo! Oh, God! It's like Twister. Get out of there, Fade! All right, he's good. He's good. Back over to the top lane, Seb. He that is in time. trouble, and he does level up uh, Nature's Guys, but he doesn't have the time in the trees to be able to get away from the bugs. And the Golden Beetles. Oh, and maybe. Jarex is dead, too. Nah, he's got no, wand charges. Okay. He's got wand charges. He's good. He's fine. How's mid going? 20 and 4 on the Tiny. Tried to toss the Monkey King back into the tower. Instead, gives Thompson. That ain't no Bambo Tiny. Mm -mm. Relax. Gets the full-on Jingu mastery. What I notice is he doesn't rely on any region. He's just going mass Wraith bands. 
which I'm sure every viewer that has watched, I mean, if you're watching this game, you've seen a hundred Tops and Monkey King games or something. Yeah, you know that guy just, he's like, ah, but this is my first. My lifesteal is, or my, my regeneration is lifesteal. Yeah, I'm not up for EU hours, guys, so I don't watch. We casted SA Qualls, so I did not get to see a lot of this oh, guy. Oh, Jarex is going to die. Again, this minus armor is just so destructive between the wave of terror and how many times it's been buffed. Minus four armor reduction, plus it does okay damage, and then you get the bugs in there as well. Everyone's just has no armor. It doesn't work. help that Tree also has nothing. Yeah. Which is why he's obviously gone for the Ring of Protection. Winter Wyvern's armor is nothing to write home about either. But they're just going to continue to run at him. Maybe this is not the worst thing in the world for this top lane. Because this bottom lane's going pretty decent. Big Daddy No Tail denies one of his own creeps. It's going to try and chase him down. Burn. Doesn't Eight. get it. No Tail. Managed no -tail to dodge yet users. another blast. Does manage to hit him finally, but now No Tail's full HP. Freeze is going to come in from the side. He's actually going to try and come over to help out with the five minute bounty runes. And while he's doing that, he'll claim a kill. No Tail did deny at least one of the bounties. He slowly but surely fade. He does manage to get the bounty rune and runs away from Anna in time. Freeze gets the avalanche stun on him. He does have a toss back, but where's he going to toss him to? Fade. He needs to get out of here. Another dagger oh, is coming his way. Oh, the centaur almost died. Freeze body blocking up and a big time. Does manage to get the dagger out, which kills the phoenix. Gets him away. Oh, three heal. Was that a living armor? It was heal? a living armor. Wow. Seb's the best player in the world. <laughs> what hell, what hell, but he copped out and he actually leveled his nature's guys. I was told he wouldn't do that. Yeah, I mean, I think he wants it because he needs to go invis when the bugs are on him, right? I guess. I'm like, his saying. attack speed is so terrible. Be a man of principle. Hold to your values no matter what. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Sylar, gonna get... Okay, they actually uh, do not focus on the same target, but it still works out. Does not matter in the least. Easy kill. Part of what makes Dota players great is their stubborn refusal to change despite all other factors involved. Uh-huh. That's what my really good pub players do anyways. Yes. As we've got the double Wraith Band into Ring of Aquila, so effectively the triple Wraith Band. I'm hyped for it. So he does 105 damage a hit right now. Actually rivaling the uh, the Tiny He's without a, About to be a, a full level ahead on Freeze. And Freeze has been a really good mid laner this tournament. Remember guys, this will determine if you win this game, it puts you even closer to the top four. Like, this game matters quite a bit. Oh, missed out on the range creep. See, yes, he is playing a little bit careful, and good thing, too, because No Tail was trying to hunt for the kill. Is instead going to go for DDC, but he no longer has any more ammo. His golem has already thrown his one little rock. Kill the golem. And the golem is now going to be tossed onto No Tail. Does have a living armor, buying him a little bit of time. The magic missile comes out. Finally, a punch from Freeze closes No Tail's legacy. That'll shut the book on that as Thompson just continues to get free farm mid though. That is the trade here as he's already up to 47 CS, no neutral creeps or anything like that. This is extremely high uh, for the time being. Freeze oh, bottom lane, they're going to go dive onto Ana. Now he does have his ultimate if he wants to try and get out that way, but instead he's going to try and just dagger on through the trees. Yang does not have his level six. He's actually got to be a little bit careful here now that no tail. Let's turn things around. Does manage to get, oh, nice deny again from no tail. But soon, Yang will have the level six, and Anna's gonna have to play a lot more careful in lane. And this time, Fade won't Radiant kill the golem. Are scanning. As No Tail's kind of getting gone on, as he's gonna chuck Radiant's the first Hadouken. Is under attack. Laying it out right now as Anna wants to pop the shrine. No Tail, healthy enough that he's not really gonna need it. Pops and gonna cop that heal. Radiant's middle Freeze tower is gonna pick is up a DD attack. in this top lane. Uh, and the laning phase still pretty even-ish. Spectre, ultimate, are they going to go for Siler? Where are they going with this one? They are going to come back over to the top lane, but Siler's just going to be able to fight Seb pretty easily. Bottom. He is trying to run to stay ahead of the magic missile. Finally, he is hit, but instead they're going to go for Jarex. But now that they use the magic missile, Jarex just TPs out. This TPs take forever. Oh, I think wow. he... Bottom lane, jump in from Thompson, going for Fade, oh, and gets stunned in the last second. Does manage to get the avalanche toss combination there with the double damage. A Thompson DD tiny. has got to be very scared of this one. The tree isn't quite enough. Yang gets one more final shot in, but it's still not enough. DDC cleans it up. 
with a wave of terror. Now Jerex, he's going to be cut down by the Reaper's Scythe. His life shall be reaped away. No Tail is still hunting that Phoenix. The one boulder. Not enough. No Tail. You have no boots. Just keep running. Your own creeps are kind of oh, blocking. Oh, no, the toss of DDC. Special delivery. They're going to be able to get in front of him now. Magic Missile slows him down long enough for the Avalanche to get there. Freeze is on a killing spree. And look at Freeze. He lets his stone brother run away. He is merciful to the young one. I mean, you just can't do him like that. But look at... It betrays him. It's going to de-ward. Oh, no. Kindness and war. It always backfires. OG getting way too aggressive there. 2K gold lead already for VGJ Thunder. And the fact that, you know, Thompson was just free farming mid and then his first rotation comes around and he just runs into a double damage tiny, basically. Seb? It's the lead seed onto the Weaver to make sure that Siler can't keep on going I'm still kind of confused by this whole, like, off lane court tree thing. Maybe I... Yeah, yeah, it's not super good. Thompson takes the bounty rune away from Siler. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Bottom lane, Yang. A golden thread. He's gonna be building the Veil of Discord. Gives himself a little bit more armor and magic damage threat on Anna. Bottom lane, Anna. Gonna get the living armor. They do have the rotation coming in from DDC. They're gonna go for no tail. Magic missile stun first on to hand. The dive comes out, but this is a tough position going. Yang, actually, they toss him in. They do manage to get the freeze onto Fade, trying to kill him with the help of freeze. Nice they do timing. manage to get him. The Phoenix right. comes over, revealing Jerex's it's position so right here. They see him now, Yang. He's gonna be scared out. He's a little bit slow, but the dagger on him as well. Sam's gonna come in. Nice overgrowth, but Yang got a big heal off of that ghost round. Gets another little bit off the death pulse. Jerex is not quite dead yet. Gets another freeze out, slowing down some of these heroes. Freeze himself is trying to get onto Seb with the Reaper's Sight. They need more damage, though. He's still dusted up, and a big, long tree brings down the mother Yang. tree. Yang goes down. Anna trying to finish off CDC, but a big avalanche combination. More minus armor and a magic missile to finish. It off Thompson sees all these low health heroes, but he's already used his son, so he won't be able to get freeze himself. Oh, the jingle so mastery, the TP takes forever, but he had a regen rune. He didn't realize fade. Oh, and there goes Chen. Radiance middle tower. All that action and Silas just calmly cleaning up a Chen kill behind a tier one. I can't believe he almost got that kill. He got him to 23 HP. That's how close that was. The creeps are helping out too. I mean, that scythe was a little bit disastrous. I feel like Yang, if he just waits, it matters Radiant's so much that you get the last hit on that, not just for the kill and to look pretty with the stats, but... The regen, right? Exactly. He would have had enough regen then, and he would have lived. Still, Yang's game is pretty straightforward here. As Anna, Anna. going to get jumped on here. Dive on him. They do have a high-level Phoenix now after that last team fight. I feel like he should definitely get levels of Sunray. It has so yes. much value for your Necro, for your Tiny. The percentage-based damage is also very effective against the Spectre. And it reveals Spectre when he goes into the trees as well. I think yes. that's really helpful. I think there's just a lot of reasons. It's kind of like when I see Wyverns, they take like to level 10 to get their first level of Cold Embrace. Yeah. Like, that just feels a little bit greedy. But... No harm, no foul. As Silar just continues to have a pretty free game. He's 5-0-1. Haven't talked about him at all because no one really wants to be anywhere near him. That is true. The action largely centered away from this level 10 Weaver. They're finally coming up here with the tree overgrowth combined with the Monkey King, thinking that maybe they can go for him. Yeah, they're just going to throw everything they have. Look at this. They lead off with the Winter's Curse to make sure they set up. This is still got the time lapse. Oh, they, they don't take the same. Siler gets away. Now they're all going to try and run to the back line to see if they can still find Siler. But he's going to Weaver. He has so much minus armor with the double damage. Siler's already executed Jarek. Now they do have the Supernova going out. The Reaper Sight holds in Thompson a little bit longer. It's not quite the kill, but Yang has the Death Pulse. It'll follow Thompson to his doom. The send back from the chat. Not going to be there fast enough. Double kill. Now Zed. TP's out. They don't have a magic oh, missile. He was he two mana short. He had swapped, though. Oh, he had no. Swap. Well, he wanted. He had enough mana for Radiance swap, and that's going to be DDC. Attack. You're my boy. But I have Radiance to criticize you for that. Oh, is it two for three exchange to the favor of VGJ Thunder? Oh, he never messes up stuff like this. And mid tower.
almost died during that, but Freeze had to back off, so it's going to be a uh, living armor. I was going to say deny, but they've got living armor. That DD Weaver lived for so long. I, they just messed up the chaining of the spells. Can they protect this top tower as well? You realize, like, the reason why you only get really sloppy games like this at TI because of the stakes. Yeah. Everybody plays a little bit worse, but it also makes for very entertaining games. Because people are just going to take fights. Dude, Siler is hunting No Tail, like, constantly. Yeah. He just always goes to his lane and just attack. kills him and then farms the lane. Oh, I thought that OG had that. Yeah. They missed the overgrowth. They didn't quite chain things. And they took so long because of the Winner's Curse. The downside of opening up with Winner's Curse is it gives the enemy team forever to yeah. set up. Which is what we saw happen there. They weren't able to protect the egg, but it still didn't matter. It's Freeze takes up a kill on a Jerex, has that early blink dagger. Freeze didn't have the best laning phase, but he's a dominant rotator. They're trying to, to cut in and find some heroes that allows them to finally push this tower, but they just can't quite do it. Anna in some trouble, does have the bugs on him, the time lapse, and trying to get himself away. Shukuchi locked in for a little bit, but Weaver gets away. He forced TP rotation, so maybe his team can take a tower. The living armor is just so pesky, though. Now you're going to see mid probably healed up. Reese, you got to do it fast, man. He's going to try and kill Jarex first to stop Jarex, but he's Winter's Curse. Now he's underneath the tower. Bane, Jarex going to be able to clean up the Winter Wyvern. The Bird Brothers. But look at this living armor. It's keeping the tower alive still. The rotations are coming out from OG. The toss up in the air. It's still not enough. Zeph's here now to be able to get the overgrowth, and they've overextended themselves. Perhaps the Supernova goes down. They need to be able to focus this. No Tail's going for it. Anna tries to get it. Now the swap goes down, but they still get the egg. Freeze trying to get away. DDC gave up his like to save freezes and they want to save this tower you see the pings oh. coming out it's got 45 hp it's still up radiance top under, is under attack. topson you're gonna get gone on here the blink stun toss is toss combination and he still has the bug on him that means the minus armor is still there freeze the he's turning and fighting he's getting the take of after he's killing the tiny the living armor helps keep topson alive and now he controls this mid lane which gives them Silar's gonna go in for it go for the tower Oh, oh, they they oh, heal. The living armor's there, Siler. You can't go back. Don't go back. Dyer's it's suicide. Are committing so oh, no, the penitence. He's Shukuchi's away. Okay, he's okay. They actually lost like 2,000 gold trying to take that tower. Dude, and now I'm starting to see where the tree comes in. They're losing their mind trying to kill towers. It's Avicii Gaming Team plus mid tier one towers. Oh man, that tower's getting baited. All right, now they're all here again. They do not want to let this tower heal to full. But Topson here. Oh, Topson's going to be able to get a big leap. That's a lot of damage. Jumps away. Magic Missile hits him in the tree, but they have no way to be able to cut it down. They tried to go for the flight, but it's not enough. Winter's Curse blocking the insider. Can they get the swap away? He managed to get out with the time lapse. He's still low. DDC ends up going down. So many heroes are dying just for them to try to take this tower. And so he's half HP or more already. And Anna survived. The cold embrace keeps him up. I don't know how OG is just baiting VGJ Thunder into fight after fight. Thunder, friends, give it up. You're just not Dyer's doing it. You've got vision. You see the HP of this tower it's... themselves. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. <laughs> Sap with, with the, the tree all chat. I mean, I would. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It's hilarious. They're just, they continuously run in one by one. That and, tower hey. is... At least they got the offlane tower. Some real Minas Tirith stuff. <laughs> I didn't see the end of the movie. That it helped, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. As it continues to hold. <laughs> he was with Siler like that one Urukai who just runs in. Wait, what? Don't spoil it, man. I'll get to the end of that movie. All right. All right, all right. <laughs> you just watch it five minutes at a time. Exactly. <laughs> Turn it off when it gets too spooky. Then I have to reset because I forgot Radiant about what happened. Maelstrom for Weaver is Radiant's almost here. That will significantly attack. increase his damage. Meteor Hammer build Dyer's for Seb. Is under attack. Get some bugs on him. Siler does have detection, so he can't actually go for this kill, but Seb is going to be forced into Overgrowth. Does manage to get vision on him first. Overgrowth TP's out. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> just keep hitting him with that chat will, but Anna's going to be caught. He's alone here in the top lane. Reaper Scythe death as well, so he's dead for 75 seconds. That is a critical loss for OG. Thompson drops the sorry. You know what, VG? You had like a 6k lead? Just go back mid again. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, dear. Do it up again for the boys. Is DDC going to throw down a, a ward to... A Tinker Ward to find Thompson? No. Just a regular laning ward. I, I thought he was going to do one of these Tinker Wards, you know? Stab. Invis here. But just the two supports from Vici. Not going to do too much as... I mean, I feel like Vici are going insane about this mid tower, but... You can't... You can't do that again. That's the definition of insanity yeah. for... You to try that play for the fifth time. Lose four heroes. It's so bad to fight around these these towers too, because there's trees and they've got both tree and protector and monkey king. Even Spectre play and and actually Winter Wyvern. All four of those heroes play really well around trees. So VGJ Radiant Thunder are gonna go for the safe lane tower instead. But OG. Hot on pursuit, Thompson flying through the air now that he's got the level 15 talent. Some real Tarzan shit going on right now. Seb, trying to get in deep. Has the overgrowth ready in four seconds, Two, but Freeze one. gets out just yeah. in time. Timing was just a little bit off on that as Anna not going to go for the Radiance. Is in fact just going to... Really? Out out of it, yeah. It's going to man to defusal this game. Mm -hmm. As Vici, I feel like, are pretty lost. Because normally they'd be hitting towers. Yeah. But I feel like they've sort of become a little bit gun shy here yeah they just keep on they just ran bottom then back to mid and then og just kind of follow them no you're not taking this tower they must be so upset right now because they have no idea what what's supposed to be happening yeah they're playing against the specter but they can't take towers spirit vessel for fade it looks like they've kind of determined just to build their next round of items which may not be a bad item. I mean, just bad as a idea. point of pride, I feel like you just all in for mid tower. <laughs> you gotta show they're, OG that you're really much pride in losing. Because I feel like that's what's gonna happen if they just Screw all in for a top another tower. Slot. I'm over it. Don't be about that life. That mid tower means the most. Monkey King tossed in. Reaper Sight. They do have it. Yank doesn't want to throw it now to get the Winter's Curse in. Freeze is actually going to keep Blink Dagger canceled here by Jerex. And now Yang needs to be able to get out with those Shrek right around the Reaper Sight. But no, the Cold Embrace plus the extra bit of healing. Topsy will survive through the Reaper Sight. And now Yang is stuck. Avalanche combination. They need to finish him off. And finally, they do. Seb hiding away in the trees. Does finally get the invisibility right as Freeze came in for that final hit. Big Daddy. He's going to be chased down by Siler. Siler's been feeding on him all game. And and it's just not really no tails fault. What can he do against the Weaver? Going to go down again as now the bottom tower. The Radiant tree is still alive. Freeze is, is desperately hunting for him. You saw how aggressively Dyer's he blinked top in. Tower has fallen. Top tower going to get Radiant taken as Anna, avoiding the fights. The double Radiant's hurricanes are going to push in the wave. VGJ hates Seb. He's all chanting them. He's been keeping his towers alive for so long. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. And he's right next to them. A breath away, but no detection oh left on my. VGJ Thunder. Oh, he's pinging freeze. He really wants to go for this kill. He wants to do that perma stun life. Dyer's top tower. But is Fade is in the area still. Fade, who's level 12 now, with the spirit vessel, is not under farm by any stretch. He doesn't have the overgrowth yet. No DDC just laid out a sentry. Seb's got to be careful. Sentry ward combination. I think Seb really wants to go on this like... so badly, but. Oh, he might actually just run in here. The dive in. Actually caught him. Thompson falls for the trees and he's still alive. Missile combination with the toss. He made to get off a stun, but that's it. He's dead. And OG without their monkey king from Thompson. Maybe they can take this fight. Swap back. Hoping to be able to save Freeze. He has a blink dagger up. He's good. OG have to retreat now. Man, that was a sick dive. They know the wards there too. They're going to deward this for free. Just a really Radiance good sequence of events. It's a 7k lead now for BGJ Thunder. It's the mid tower for the eighth time in this game. Silar is like, damn it, I'll do it this time. But you got to bring more shows himself. But nope, that's no longer the case. Penitence on Yang. He's got to go, Shroud. I feel like you need to bring everyone here and be ready to fight if you want to take this. I mean, they've got the egg. Opportunities are there, but instead they're going to back again. They're still not learning. Radiance You've got to have everyone. Is under attack. Siler's got 2,800 gold. What does he go for next?
Does he need a BKB this game? He doesn't, right? I don't think so. so. I think he just needs a... Uh, does he want Lincolns? I'm not I, even sure if he needs a Lincolns this game. Lincolns is okay. It's not... Actually. How does he deal with tree, though? Manta, maybe? Do you get Manta on Weaver just to deal with that? We've seen, um, there was some hero that got man. Oh, it was Tinker, right? Tinker yeah. got, had to go Manta because he was facing up against a tree. I mean, it's not terrible this game either. Yeah. Hmm. I just don't like it when you go all in defensive on Weaver when there's 50 ways to deal with it. Yeah. you need damage on this hero. Seb, he's going to be spotted here. They do have the dust form, so even if he does go Invis here, living armor, but. Go mid tower now. Now that the tree is dead, now that there's no living armor, well, maybe they can go mana? for an objective the top lane, and it does manage to TP out. VGJ Thunder would have been very happy with that pickoff. Oh, that scan. would have been massive. They, they don't get scan. it. They yeah. throw out everything to try to maybe catch him, but instead... They're going to try and fight. Yeah. OG is. They, they've smoked over. Is under Pops in is waiting. They have Radiant the Monkey King in position. Are they going to notice the extra tree? He's going to get out the ultimate man to get the two man stun. The rest of his team needs to be able to follow this up instantly. OG comes in with Anna trying to finish off Yang. He's got off the ghost route, swapped away by DDC. He gives up his life, and the Necro does manage to blink himself out of there. But can he TP way in time? OG, they're going to find him soon, and Yang just can't get out fast enough. DDC's swap is for naught. I feel like if he TP'd Insta, went down, yeah. would have maybe had a chance of survival. Would have probably been worth it to at least try. Step gonna make his way down bottom again. Overgrowth catches the Phoenix, and he's gonna go for the bonk real quick, but his attack speed is so slow, so Seb waits for the fire to wait uh, to, to tick out there, and does manage to get it now, forced out the Supernova. And, okay, no tail thought they were gonna go for it. Seb's like, no, we can't actually do that. Fate's gonna come back in strong, challenge the supports. He's gonna get bonked in the head again. He may not be able to dive away fast enough. No tail finally does go down. Winter's Curse holds him in. Seb's gonna try and get another Nature Skies entangled, but Thompson's here to finish off the Phoenix. So they trade off support for support with a Supernova blown. I'm pretty sure you're okay with that if you're OG. So that was a three on one. Phoenix getting away with anything there. And he bought out his Yules before he died. Yeah. But if they just give an OG an opportunity to do Roshan, they won't be very happy with themselves. Yeah, it's Anna going to go back for the Radiance now. Roshan's dying fast. BGJ Thunder spotted out with DDC, but it's a hard fight to take, especially with Thompson in the area. Seb here as well. No overgrowth up, but now Freeze jumps in at the wrong time. They tried to get the swap in. Now they're going to get Meteor Hammer together. Oh, no. Seb, he stuns one. He stuns the tiny, and DDC, he didn't need to hit him. He was clean up for OG. I mean, Siler's just looking at the rest of his team, and he's like, guys, what is... What is going on? This game has been chaos, but y'all just need to chill. Dyer did get the Roshan hit, by the way. I'm pretty sure I see the Snatch. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, wow. I'm surprised by that. I didn't think he blinked in in time. Dude, the Meteor Hammer. I can kind of see why they like it. What you do is, yes, you have this core tree, but you just pick really greedy cores. Die from that. Keep your towers alive. Them not being able to take this mid tower is also what enables that Roshan. Everything sort Seb of makes sense. Is in range of vision. He sees that now as the creep triangle on him, but he's got enough backup. He just wants to be able to find somebody. The dive has already gone down. Anna thinks he can take on Fade. Throws the dagger out. It misses Fade, and he'll miss the kill as well. That was real suspect. Yeah, especially with the Yule Scepter, that Phoenix was not in danger. Yeah. Also, if he just fire spirits and then pops his ulti. The rest of your team can't really pursue there anyways. Yeah. There's no real winning there for him. He went to tree respawn time instead of the 90 damage. Huh. Weird. No tails on the front lines. You know, you're here. Oh boy, what a winter curse. Yen just got beaten down by Freeze, and now he's stuck inside the Monkey King ult, and he throws out the tree to be able to finish off. No tail, Swap goes in. Freeze, a dagger comes out. It's not quite enough. DDC trying to run away from Thompson. Siler's laying in some damage into the Monkey King as well. They dive over, trying to slow down these years. There goes the Supernova, but the toss up in the air, and it's going to have trouble being able to take that on, and that's going to be the Aegis. Supernova, VGJ Thunder are very well set up to kill the Spectre twice. Avalanche lead things off. Magic Missile, OG give up on Anna. He's dead. Reaper sight. Anna actually gets the last hit on the DDC. I think as a result of all the damage bounced. Yeah. 
He just dispersed it back out. But, but super worth. Yeah, they almost got another kill too on a Jerex. Good turn onto that fight. 5k Radiant lead now for scan. Thunder. Oh, DDC. Did a pretty good job of cutting it down. He hasn't always saved his heroes, but I think his swaps are always been on point. Yes. Maybe they live, maybe they still Don't die, but that one especially scan. was super important. BKB or Thompson. Now he's so much more powerful when he leaps in. Yeah, you can pretty much bad. guarantee you get a Jingu mastery on somebody. They needed Han so bad attack. there. Dyer's structures are With the Spectre down for 40 seconds. Are they really going to try and defend this? They see the GTP. Seth's going to be caught tossed up in the air, almost bursted immediately, trying to get out, but. Again, that Sunray Radiant from Fade just tower. does so much. Tops okay. leads away to the trees. Radiant DDC spawns for a moment. Is Couldn't fall. get close enough for the swap. One second. Winter's curse. That's Yang God again. The swap back. No. DDC just can't save him fast enough. Uh, Yang has to be way more careful than that. Yeah. That's twice now where Jerex is just eating him. Radiance middle tower. He just cannot be anywhere near Freeze and vice versa. Is a BKB now completed on this Monkey King? Thought about popping the ult there as Thompson just gonna jump down, lay his staff into two heroes. That's gonna be uh, three bounty runes for Team V2J. Is now their leads to 6k. They finally took that mid tower. That's gonna make things a lot easier for them. Is Anna gonna get chased out by these illusions? Pops his own Manta, trying so hard just to get to that radiance. How close is he? 2200. A bit of a distance still. At least he already has the radiance. Oh, top lane, doing a battle here with Freeze, but he does receive some Sunray healing. Percentage-based heal is too much for Thompson to take on. The 100 tip by Seb to his own teammate. That was a BKB charge use cap. Now yeah. he's down to nine. Very valuable BKB charge. But at least he forced some heroes up there that gives just more time for Anna, right? Yes. That's all they need, more time. Seb, meanwhile, is just cutting out creep waves as Meteor Hammer Treants are wont to do. They're just going to sit in one side lane, constantly push them out. Seriously, though, the respawn? Tree respawn? I mean, I guess he's got Monkey King, so they got two heroes that need trees. And they did say that four heroes of theirs, Jerex is dead. No, Jerex is not. Jerex has quit, quick, quick, quick fingers. Dyer's bottom tower he's actually so fast attack. on that uptick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was literally just standing there, knowing that there was probably a smoke coming his way, and he just had the blink ready to go. Yeah, and once again, the creeps just getting killed. Siler's got a butterfly now. Freeze on the hunt. He's got his blink. He's going to jump in. That's going to be a no-tail for free, and they're going to mop up all the creeps. No-tail is really good at finding enemy heroes. Yes. Oh, Not very this. good at surviving Dyer's through them. Except just back during tier ones now. Oh. Top lane. He got canceled. Oh, they're going to be able to grab Anna. Managed to get away off of his ultimate. Siler's still going to be able to find him. He's jumping around the map. Does manage to get to the other side of the cliff there. But still, that is a uh, haunt used. BGJ Thunder got to be happy. A very good job at forcing that. But now he's got his Radiance. Just 50 gold away. If you're patient, Anna, you're going to have it. How's Yang doing? He needs a... BKB, and he's a little bit far away from one. A hasted haste room. That's what Thompson is. Now he's a flying courier. Flying his way down to the bottom lane, where Seb is currently trying to push it out. Radiant are scanning. Long dive in from Fate, knowing that Jerex is somewhere around him. Spots him out with the sun right now, but his allies are super far away. Jerex just keeps on running south, just got to keep his distance. More time for the Blink Dagger to come up. Here comes Freeze. Avalanche oh, isn't there in time. Timing. It was super close. Now they're just going to buy more time as Seb continues to cut the waves. Almost has that Aghanim Scepter. Just two components away. Yang will collect all this farm being pushed into him. Seb now going to head up to the top lane. They were going to go for the push onto the tier two. Silent. He's going to run into Jarex here. Jarex going to plan this high ground area. Does not have a TP. Blink up in three seconds time with DDC. Oh, he got popped down. And now DDC spots him, but he already had the blink up. 
Don't turn around. Winter's Curse. It's Dyer's not going to last very long on Freeze, though. He will continue his pursuit. Reaper Scythe. And they do get the kill. He's dead for 100 seconds. But that was space for them to take the tier two. That's why they tip Jerex. Space created. More farm for the Spectre. And if they can just avoid fights, outmaneuver, OG's just going to give themselves more chance in this game. They'll never see me coming. Seb. That's a lot of excitement for a meteor hammer hit. I mean, it hit. 500 health for the Spectre. Big upgrades on this this Spectre over the last like three minutes. Yeah. Radiance, 500 health. That's pretty it just game changing. It pairs nicely. I think that's the reason why this hero is so good. Because yeah. every time you hit this next power spike, you have another one following up. So first you get this Manta, uh, you get this Radiance. Normally you get this Radiance and then you'd be really strong. Then you get the Manta, then you get the 500 HP talent. So you've got your own mini heart. They're going to see if they can actually kill Anna here, at least take away his bounty ring. But the power spikes just keep coming. If he had a really OP level 25 talent, it'd be even more incredible. Yeah. All he's got is Dispersion, Haunt Illusion damage. Both are pretty good. I feel like both of them are kind of even. Yeah. Spectre is online now, though. For sure. Seb. And I really think they need to do a better job of hunting down this Dream Protector, because he's keeping these side lanes pushed in, which is just buying more and more space for Spectre. But maybe it's too late for that. They do have three cores that all scale pretty well, so even if there's a big bad Spectre on the enemy team, so we go later, BGJ Thunder may still be able to challenge. I don't know. Where do your bets lie? Like, past 50 minutes, who do you think? I'm not sure, because I feel like this Necro is really good against pretty much all these heroes. Yeah. I'm not sure how this Monkey King scales in a game like this, but he's really farmed now. He's got a Scotty. He's going to hit his level 25, which I think is going to be really good in this game. He just BKBs, double command rings. Really hard for Thunder to fight. But when it comes to the supports, I mean, they, there's both, they both have really game-changing supports. Yeah. Like, this Wyvern can pretty much just kill anybody instantly. But at the same time, it's a Phoenix. We talk ad nauseum about how good Phoenix is as a level 25. And he's about to get his uh, level 20 talent. Which could be the stun duration, which is better for team fights. I see the dive occasionally. It feels a little bit like a meme. It's just unnecessarily long and hard to control. Yeah. Freeze. They have a courier out here. They're going to spot the real tree. The tree stacked on tree. You saw that. Or maybe you didn't. They had this ward specifically to find this Monkey King. They didn't notice. I mean, it's not the most obvious thing. Yeah. To be fair. The tree stacked on tree. Dyer's bottom tower is under And now attack. the Aghanim Scepter is up. Are this is just going to make the game even harder. Both the split push aspect of the Eyes in the Forest coupled with Overgrowth, as well as the uh, just the general vision, makes things tough. Right now, Thompson. Gonna deal with the wave once again, and Dyer's bottom tower even though Thunder have attack. a 6k lead, it doesn't feel as though this game is very far from either team's grasp. No, certainly not. What's the win probability? Go to plus fam. It is Dyer's used to be tower. in the favor of VGJ Thunder, now it's like about 55% to OG. That's what we're talking about. Game is still very close for either side. One team fight will determine it. First things first. Seb gets that Aghanim Scepter, immediately starts putting vision around the Roshan Pit. That is one of the OP, OP things. It is clear vision. It does see inside the Roshan Pit, so give me some of those eyes in the forest right around that, that area. And VGJ Thunder will have a tough time being able to take Roshan. When you said that, I just wanted to say uh, first things first. Rest in peace. Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. Dyer's bottom tower Anna already has another 4k net worth. Now, he probably wants to hold on to buyback. But if he gets a heart... Oh, they spotted Thompson! Did he see? He saw him for a moment, but Dyer's couldn't get a disable in time. He just fallen. floats away so far that DDC can't really get to him. 
they just oh. keep on barely missing out of these here. Oh, they see so many of them, though. They've got the Tinker Ward. Everyone from DJJ Thunder is on their way. They need to be able to land the bugs from Siler. They're waiting, but both TPs. Yeah. Ooh, they're just getting run around the map right now. <laughs> nice try, guys. Bottoms pushing in. Mid is taking into the tier two. So much space for OG and more time for the eyes in the forest. Do they have a gem? I thought they had a gem at some point. Oh, yeah. There it is. Freeze. I guess he's the one who will easily just kill eyes in the forest. The tree throw. I, I almost think that Fate's going to go for the dive range just to have a better chance of finding the Monkey King in these side areas like this. I bet he's thinking to himself, would I have found them? If I had the dive range, if I could have just swooped through all that area? Would you have taken? I think it's... I, I don't think he should. I think it's a trap. But I, I, I bet it's going through his head. Oh, don't do it. I just go for the Roshan, and it is falling way faster than I expected, but the bugs are coming in. The bugs have spotted everything out, and they do We're have a Phoenix trying to get some fear. Fire Spirit's in. Look at this. Thompson just preemptively lays out the ultimate to make sure it's not possible. They get in. Shukoji, they already have the Aegis on, and uh, Siler's trying to fight him. Time lapses and walks himself away. The Supernova will explode eventually here, but OG just retreat outside of the pit. Setting back Anna. They're going to try and kill him, but he's already being healed up, and he won't die fast enough. Anna he's gone. gets sent back to base. Maybe if they waited half a second on Yang's ulti, they popped that, but now without the egg. And now they're going to go back in. The Spectre is ready to rumble, so they're going to try and take on DDZ. He's already dead, Yang. No, oh, nice use of the Winter's Curse, but he already got the Winter's, uh, he got the Growth Shot out. So he's not actually taking that much damage until finally it fades. Yang, a little bit more from Anna, trying to chase him down. Will be able to finish him off, but on the side, Thompson gets clobbered to death by Freeze. He has to go for Spectre now, who has an extra life, and it's just not a fight he can win. Magic Missile eats the cheese on a side. He actually stole that one inside the Roshan pit, finishes off the Aegis, and slips away with the Shikuchi to be able to find No Tail, who, as, as always, is a free kill for VGJ Thunder. And Anna lived for so long there. Some of these winner's curses are just completely breaking open the fights. Oh, he did it. I told you, dude. He took the dive? He took the dive. Icarus. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. The Weaver now completes an MKB. He needs it to deal with the Spectre. So there's a heart on Anna. He's most likely going to go and switch his build once he sees that MKB. Probably just gets a BKB of his own. Yeah. I like that. I think No Tail really needs a Glimmer Cape. Yeah, that's what he's trying to build right now. He, he just needs to be able to attack. not die to Siler all the time. Because Siler can't really carry counter detection at this point. Yeah, it's completely six slotted out. I guess he could drop his treads, but you wouldn't feel too good about that. You need the attack speed if you're Weaver. Oh, they've got the... Uh, we didn't have this in the last fight, right? Yeah. The, they've got the Wukong's Command Ring. That is very difficult to play around. If you ever let OG actually get into your base area, and they throw that down, it just feels impossible. You just have to give up a Tier 3 and maybe even a Rax as a result. Regeneration. But... We already saw the Shikuji movement speed a while ago. Is there any other level 25s that are coming in soon? It looks like most of these heroes are still a decent distance away. Level 25 on Anna is coming up. And we got the Cold Embrace cooldown on the Winter Wyvern, as that has been obviously very, very strong. The uh, level 20, the Perma Root, Nature's Guys Root is available, as well as the Leech Seed, which... You're getting sort of close to the level 25 on Tiny. Invisibility. So yeah, 23. Yeah. The toss charges. Super. What does Seb get? Two seconds nature's guys route? I've never seen anyone go the leech scene. <laughs> I can't imagine it's that effective this late on. No. I mean, you can have a a 4.2 second. Oh, jump on a Yang. 
They're going to try and pop him real quickly. He does have Yule Scepter as well as the BKB and swap back on a Thompson. Thompson's ultimate. But look at that ring. They're stuck inside of the Draco for the Reaper Sight, but Thompson just shrugs it off. Yeah. Oh, he's going insane right now. Anna jumps in. He does manage to find Siler. Siler time lapses. He's inside of the Monkey King ultimate, but they don't have the detection. Seb tries to catch up with him, but just can't get there. And now OG. Marching down mid, a tier two gone. Into the high ground they go. They're gonna try and force VGJ Thunder into a buyback. Chen, no tail buys back, and I think in part because the send back is just so valued. Yeah, I think they also see the opportunity right now to end this game, but there is a buyback on the Necro. Doesn't have the ult or BKB. Seth makes his way into the base. Does manage to get an eye out, a long range dive through all of these heroes. Freeze, trying to make a little jump in, but Cold Brace heals up Thompson, and no, no, he ain't got a little bit too close. Oh, okay. to freeze. He's made that mistake one too many times. Anna tries to come in, immediately the supernova goes out, so Anna tries to retreat, but he doesn't have the dagger. He can't get to low ground. Tom laps. Oh, the Cold Brace is going to be able to save Anna a little bit of time. They're not letting him heal up, though. They get the pure damage on the Sunray onto him. Anna's almost dead. Anna gets burned out by the supernova, and now Silo got caught in the overgrowth. They do manage to kill him. He does have a buyback, though. He comes back into the fight after his dive through. Jarex is going to be saved by his old Cold Embrace, but Siler is hot in. They're going to try and get the send back. Siler, a couple of shots, but it's not enough. He saves himself with the Cold Embrace, sent back to base by the Chen. Siler keeps on pushing forward. Heyman freeze together, but all this vision, all this mobility of OG allows them to be able to escape quite easily. I'm gonna pick up bounty runes on the way out. So OG will now extend their lead. They've got a lead of Oh, they run into Thompson. Thompson could jump to the trees. Thompson, he did get so greedy for the bounty runes. Doesn't get off the BKB and dies as a result. At least he buys out his courier. satanic, but he bought out the satanic. Also means he doesn't have buyback. There's a gem on that courier. Tyler wants it so bad, but he's gonna uh, get ring around the Rosied. They still have a gem on DDC, so they still have a way to deal with the uh, eyes in the forest. An I don't, man, Yang was 300 gold away from Shivas, And now he's got 400 gold. That man really needs to stay away from Tiny. Or have a Lincolns or something. Illusion. Illusions, that'll certainly help out because they, they just got to push in these waves. Train Protector so good at being able to stall out this game. They're going to go for a tier two in mid. They use so many buybacks, though. You see the eyes. Good use of the overgrowth just to stall things out. Most of the creep's gonna die. But they're gonna continue their assault onto this tower. It dies so fast. This freeze is trying to lay waste to this. And MTV in. Wants to be the high ground. Nice punch there on a Siler. They're gonna get the dagger on him. Swamp back on a Seth. They want to be able to kill him quickly. But again, the Winter's Curse laid onto Siler. Is he gonna die from this one? Freeze runs out of trees to be able to throw on Siler. Gets away. Time lapse. He doesn't have it. He's gonna have to run away from Anna. Looks like he could be good as long as he doesn't get daggered here. Shikuchi doesn't allow him to be able to drift oh, away. Fade runs into no tail here. Sees a free kill on at least an opportunity for one, but has to be careful because the rest of the team is definitely on its way. Freeze is just cutting creep waves, doesn't find no tail, but finally, Fade is spotted. Yule Scepter to be able to buy him a bit of time to get away from Anna. BGJ Thunder is honestly very lucky that they got away with so many heroes. Yang, he has an invis rune right now, and they do have a gem on Sem, so Yang has to blink himself away. Yang just trying to survive right now. Things are going to reset a little bit as OG gathered up. Dyer's no mana on, no tail. This might just on him back. I'm going to pop the ult again to just clear up all the waves at bottom. They could just wait for the next Roshan. It can spawn in 47 seconds. You might as well be patient if you're OG. I mean, there's just seems like no way BGJ Thunder could fight into the Wukong's command. Oh, 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 oh. Thompson, you got to be careful. Jump into those trees and a mid dive. Can't afford to get stunned if they cut the right tree. Satanic is now up for Siler. He has that extra life. He's shikuching on three. Doesn't manage to find Jarex. Winter's curse. Oh no. Freeze actually caught in that as well. They managed to get the double sable with a meter hammer on top of them. They managed to swap out. They got the needs to be saved. The shrine is going to go down. The toss is well to get DDT out of that ring. But Freeze is going to be left behind. Saves it to four. But down he goes. Siler. He's going to have to take this instead. The Reaper Sight is quite enough. They managed to get the Cold Embrace on the top. Of the BKB out from Fade is just trying to slow down the attack speed of everyone as they dive themselves away. And he's trying to jump. Out, trying to get away from Seller, but he just can't get the damn box off of him. Thompson will try it instead. Leaps onto the three of them, managed to get a big swing out. Goes after Yang, dodges the lot. He's trying to get himself 
Wild Lion with the death holds and tops it. He's doing so much damage for Silo with the time lapse. Stays alive. They may have killed the Necrophones, but it's not good enough. Seb, he's in biz, and they don't have the detection, but Anna comes back up the buyback. They do manage to get the Insane onto Fade. He doesn't have a dive away, but Anna doesn't care nice. about him. He wants Silo. Seb managed to insane him out. Meteor Hammer down, and that's going to be a Phoenix who comes back down to the earth and instantly dies. A buyback on both the supports, but Anna knows there's no buyback on the cores. And that might just do it here as Topson doesn't have buyback, but the rest of his team should be able to clean this up. They know there's no buyback on the Weaver, the Tiny, or the Necro, or they would have used it. If anybody's been keeping track of time, they'll be just fine. And now they're going to go for the Megas. This is a safe play. Don't think they have the DPS to comfortably go for the throne. It's the Tiny. The Tiny doesn't have it on gold. But OG might be a little bit nervous. He may have it in inside that he tries to dive in. Fade, swapped out, BKB activated, but now DDC is gonna die instead. Gets the magic missile onto Jerex, allows the Phoenix to survive. They bought a little time though. The Tiny's coming up in 10 seconds. The Necrophos is coming in as well. He's asking, are you lost? They very Dyer's well might be. Two seconds for the Tiny to come back alive. Anna's gotta Dyer's be careful, he doesn't have buyback. And with the Glyph, I think you just back out, reset things. Dyer's bottom tower In five seconds, the attack. Necro's gonna be up two. Again, Roshan, you might as well just take it. Seb will take the tier three Dyer's out with the Meteor Hammer. They must hate Seb so much in yeah. this game. Three, four, and 18. He's kept the towers alive for so long. I feel like in a normal game, and it's hard to say, Thunder had such a dominant lead, but those two engagements in the mid game where they were trying to take that mid tier one tower, any other hero, they would have gotten those, the game would have been fine. Dude, look at this. He's got the level 25, so the AOE is gigantic. He's got trees on either side of the river, it overlaps into the Roshan pit. Well, he's got the Octarine core now completed too. <laughs> I love that one. Really freaking out, man. An orchid? Not Jarex, okay. I can take it. Like, I just wanted all the items. Why not? Just get a Bloodthorn. Thompson picks up the Arcane Rune so he can just jump around from tree to tree a little bit He's gonna faster. He's going to have the double ring, too. And the double BKB, the double Satanic, and the double Manta. Oh, my. I mean, between the eyes and, and the Wukong's commands, like, there's just so much zone control, right? Like, OG just own parts of the map when they want to. Yes. And there's certainly going to be no surprises to the team fight that's about to happen, at least when it comes to OG. Look how much vision they have inside of the base right now. They're going to jump on a Yang, try and lead off with the stuns. Thompson throws out Wukong's man. DDC is going to be able to swap Yang out, but DDC dies as a result. He does on that buyback, and they're going to lose the first racks here as at bottom. Anna running in, he's got the Aegis, they here comes the Phoenix. see the opportunity to try and go for him, and in the meanwhile the Phoenix holds him down, what a beautiful overgrowth, locking down a lot of these zeroes, Tyler instantly pops the BKB, they're gonna go for Yang first, they don't want to get that Reaper scythe out, the Refresher or Wilcox command, Yang is still inside of it, while Sam slows down Freeze as well, the Supernova does manage to successfully go off, but Yang is finally gobbled up by Anna, seizing the side, that is controlling a Freeze, Anna's gonna try and beat him down, he has the extra life, but Seb does not, so Seb ends up going down Freeze, he needs to be able to get back to the found the Infis rune a little bit more, the Radiant first Freeze survives! Gold Embrace will save Anna from the Fountain Shots. Freeze is going to talk him in deeper, though. Anna needs to try and run himself away from the Weaver, Dyer's who with the Winter's top. Curse zoning him out, he couldn't actually pursue. But now Anna may find the dive of the truck. Comes out from Thompson. A toss of the air. There goes the, the first life of the Spectre. But GG is called. BGJ Thunder, no. A second life of Anna is just too much to take on. 40 to 40 is the score. OG ended it with a kill above. I mean, they're still keeping things going. They are reeling off win after win. They were tied with BGJ Thunder before this, but now they're gonna take that game. And we just look at the standings real quick. Have a slight lead on the one game lead over them, but BGJ